Greetings everyone, my name is Jesse Smith. I am a programmer for Savannah AI. I wanted to uh, use this video um, to introduce a few new features that Savannah has. Uh, I've been programming um, Android applications for about six months and I can tell you it's, it's very challenging programming uh, compared to other types of programming, say for web applications. Um, the reason is is because you have so many different devices that you have to be or have your app working on which can be quite challenging. Uh, some phones just don't function like others. Um, there's not a one-size-fits-all for Android development. So that makes it tough to be consistent. Um, but I also wanted to go over um, this latest uh, review for Savannah and just um, you know, uh, have a response to it. Um, so really what this review talks about is that it's not um, assistant by speak to it, which is another um, virtual representative application or virtual assistant. The, uh, the actual comment says, this is not the droid you were looking for. Uh, no conversation mode, couldn't handle what is the weather and gave me the definition of the word. Went dumb on me the very second use. Would not answer any questions. I backed out and went back in. Same result. Took me three minutes to figure out this isn't on par with assistant by speak to it. Well, first of all, I wouldn't want this Savannah AI to be anything like assistant by speak to it. Um, I find that application kind of nauseating, to be honest. It, uh, you have a cartoon, <clears throat> excuse me, that you're looking at when you talk to it, and it's just a, a cartoon, nothing more. Um, and it doesn't even have screen segmentation where it can view other parts of the screen um, while you're talking. And Savannah has that web view at the bottom that you can always view what your last response was and so forth. Um, now, first of all, Savannah, with what is the weather, Savannah can understand that easily. Um, but it's because of, uh, I'm not sure if it's because of your speech, um, Jeff, that caused it. I don't know if you have an accent or what's going on there, but it's always worked for me, and I know it's worked for other people as well. Um, so Savannah can certainly answer that question and many more. Um, so let's go on to the other part of this. Uh, okay, figure it out is no conversation mode. First of all, you know, you'd think a good virtual assistant wouldn't have a conversation mode. The reason there is a conversation mode is because the assistant isn't smart enough to differentiate commands from regular conversation. So, a human doesn't have conversation mode and neither should a virtual assistant, should it? So what I'm thinking here is that I know speak to it uses um, a conversation engine that several others also use, uh, including Skype. Now I can tell you that this conversation engine isn't intelligent. It's just a flat file of a bunch of keywords that matches what you said and then it gives you a, a response. Now it's smart enough to randomize responses for common questions so that you think it's not canned but it really is canned responses. So it's no better than a search engine. It just takes your words and does a match and whatever is the closest match that's the response that you get. That isn't true artificial intelligence. That's just very hollow you know, that's why I didn't put that in uh, Savannah AI, because that's just, I don't, I don't know, to me it's lame, but you want more intelligence behind it. Um, and this conversation engine uses something called AI, AIML, which claims to be able to track subjects and verbs and all that stuff, and I've never seen that it could. So I think that's kind of, again, a hollow... Um, 
point that they make for AMI, AIML or the creators of that. You can do a search on the, the market for a, uh, an app called Call Mom, and it's these guys that actually did or do the AIML engine that Speak to it uses. So, when I've spoken to um, say Call Mom, I'm bored in two minutes. It's just, I can already tell it's canned responses and stuff like that. So, you know, the, the novelty wears off quick. And so Savannah is really command driven. Most of what Savannah does is it has dozens and dozens of commands, um, probably the most on the market with over 50. Now, depending on what commands you use and when depends on your lifestyle. So if you travel a lot, you're going to use the navigation command much more. If you text a lot, you're going to use the texting stuff. It's just how it goes but it's command driven and that means it takes action when you say something which I'd rather have it do right now eventually I'd like to put conversation in it but not something so um, I hate to use the word lame for you know the conversation engine that speak to it is using but something more intelligent you know that's just not matching words like a search engine Okay, moving on. Um, Savannah does have some new uh, some new stuff that's really good, and I think it's the only st uh, new features on the market that this app has that other ones do not. It's called a quick voice action widget that Savannah has. You can simply uh, once you install Savannah, go to your widgets and drag and drop the Savannah widget onto your screen. And what you'll get are four buttons. Um, one is for calling, one is for navigating, one is for searching, and the last one is for opening apps. So you can quickly just press the call button and say the name of the person that you're wanting to call, and it's instantly calls that person. So I could just say, like, I could click the call button and say, Brianna, you know, that's one of the contacts that I have, and it would call Brianna immediately and it doesn't get any more efficient than that and same holds true for navigate you just click the navigate button and just say the, the address that you want to go to immediately it brings up the navigation stuff and plots that address um, open just press the button say the name of the app and it opens right up again very efficient um, searching, it's kind of like the Google Voice search. You just press the button and say what you want to search. And you can do search weather and it will bring back the location of your weather for your area and all the forecasting and whatnot because it uses Google location services for this. So, with that said, I'd, if it's something definitely to try out with Savannah that I think you can really benefit from and also uh, it works on Android 4.2 phones that it, it'll come on the lock screen so you're able to press and um, access that functionality from your lock screen without having to unlock it. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um, I appreciate you listening and I'll probably have more later. Thank you.